Yeah. Who's that, Diamond Dave? Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's Jackie helping him out. <laughs> Jackie can rock. Look at him. He can get up there just as high as David Lee Roth. That's David Lee. Here comes Jackie. Yeah, look at See? Our own Jackie knows how to rock. Why, Jackie never made it as a musician, I'll never know. I don't know. He didn't know what to do. He didn't know he was supposed to do that. He was busy doing this crap. They call it marijuana, and before this song is done... The 20... So it's like 20 guys singing at once. <laughs> Jackie, what'd you do on this song? Did you, like, sing over your own voice, or...? That's me and Chris Bates singing in tandem. Is that right? And then they doubled it. We sang over it again a second <laughs> time. Why? It's two guys singing twice. So it's four guys. I don't know. Jackie's mic must be louder than the other guy, because all I hear is Jackie. Sound it's pretty amazing. You know how much effort went into learning how to sing that simultaneously? We sang it many, many times. Yeah, I mean, way too much effort. You guys must have really believed in this song. I'll tell the world. Is he still writing? For Jackie? No, this song is finished. <laughs> so Jackie's still writing this. He's still polishing. The nice thing about it is it's so clear what's going on in the song. And... Who casted that first stone? Yeah, well... <laughs> what's he playing? He's a partner. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What were you playing? Stop the song for a second. What, what, what was he, What were you playing? We were at a party playing music. And your partner? We smiled at each other when the party got going. Is your partner a girl? No, my partner's the guy I'm singing with. Oh. Oh. We're playing guitar and singing and, <laughs> and boogie, rocking and rolling. Yeah. And you they guys started... Boogie right along. And because you were drinking and smoking pot, you started smiling at each other. Exactly. Well, we hadn't earlier. smoked pot yet. See, that's the idea of the song. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. You're just like we're going drinking, along, you're drinking, and, dr and everything's fine. It's just that when you when well, you smoke the pot, pot, everything yeah. goes to another level. I go. All right. Does the song get better? <laughs> so is pot better than beer? I don't know. Oh. Well, in a way, it is because you're saying you only had a good time with the well, beer. It's kind of a dead heat, you know. Yeah. I know. It sounds like pot's more fun because cold gold makes you old before your time. You. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, Fred is really no, but studied this. What it sounds like to me is that Jackie's having a good party going with the beer. But to take it that extra mile, he has to smoke his pot. Exactly. So Pushing it's like... It to another level. Yeah. I mean, I've heard this song a couple of times, and it sounds like when the pot comes into this it... This song is a story about my 27th birthday, and what happened was we had this big party, and we had kegs and kegs of beer, but for my birthday, they gave me a, a cake with 27 joints of Colombian pot as the candle. <laughs> oh, so after I see. we played a few songs, we stopped. All right, let's listen some more, because that wasn't too clear. I never knew that. Now now I, now I have new new information. There's something to look forward to. And then right. the party kicked uh, in. Let me, let me hear that. See the point I'm making? Yeah. No. Well, seriously, stop this for a second. Jackie's saying that the party was going great, but yeah, man, everybody was having oh. a good time. When pot entered the room, went into hyperdrive. Everything yeah. kicked in. Oh, heck, they it started getting it raised weird. everything to a different level. Right. So you would say that beer is is okay, but pot is everything. Well, Look like, out! Everything pushes towards the goal. If you could only have one, you would take pot over beer. No. Oh, really? No. Interesting. Your partner. Well, it depends on the situation. <laughs> you could never just take one. Yeah, if he couldn't get the, that keg of beer into the place, he'd take the pot. But if you were on an island, Luke, like Lord of the Flies... Luke. No, come on, be honest. Just Don't try to be funny. You're funnier when you're not trying to be funny. <laughs> no, because if you smoke pot, you feel like drinking a beer. But if you drink beer, you don't necessarily feel like smoking All beer. All right, so there If you I was go. stuck with one, I would probably want an endless supply of beer as opposed to... Because okay. then he'd always have the want for beer right. when he smoked the pot and never be able to get yeah, it. Yeah, a lot of people want to know this. <laughs> I don't know who... Let me just hear the rest of the song. <laughs> I love that guitar work. Glenn Campbell Jr. Here we go. Here we go. Uh oh. Things quieting down. Later, much, much later, we were all sitting around. Most of the girls were tired, so most of the fellas drowned. The party almost over, was the splendid time all gone. We eyed each other nervously and we no getting it on. 
the girls are pretty tired. And... The guys are getting upset. Yeah. Oh. See, Reaper. Ah. Reaper to the rescue. Such a grown man. <laughs> guys, this guy's like 50. I wrote this in 1971. Sure you did. One thing about Jackie, he sounded like he was 50 in 1971. I'll give you that. You know, you just don't imagine a guy smoking pot and playing his music. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> He's supposed to be at least a Grateful Dead. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where Jackie's influences came from, but... I don't know, like, that music would indicate that he grew up in the Ozarks. Yeah. <laughs> and that he should be smoking tobacco. <laughs> Wacky tobacco. <laughs> I love Super that song. Albuquerque. Oh, that's, that's oh, sorry. Oh, okay. It makes a big difference. Yeah. It does. Had an influence. And Where's your right cold gold? That was written in my cellar in New York. Which is almost the identical yeah. song, except it's, it's about so beer. It's yeah. so different. Yeah. You are going to sing along. It goes just like this. Well, you are right Hello, there. Hello, Mitchell. Wavy, please. I'm Coco Major Steve. Let's see your prime whiskey. So celebrate the dinner. Since his body weight comes out of his beer, you know. Ready? <laughs> Great song. I still got a few not a few other ones I got to bring in. Things. Yeah, you got to bring them all in. I want to analyze. Them. Is he still writing music? I mean, the world. I believe so. Surprise. Well, you know, we take them away from that. <laughs> I don't have time. Yeah. Go make your old way before your time. Go go make you sleep right through your prime. Yeah. Now whiskey is for celebrating. Beer just gives you body weight and comes out of your ears before you're drunk. That's right. Jack X has rules. You know, you know what's funny? He spent more time thinking about what beer does to you. And, and how you're supposed to See, that's drink why I it. think he likes yeah. pot better. <laughs> no, he says he don't like pot better. But no. it makes you old before your time. Yeah, but he doesn't care but about that. But look, even with all those drawbacks, he won't stop. Yeah, the idea. We think Jackie's a health freak. Yeah. Okay. He doesn't mind being old this before his time. all the downsides about beer, but it's a celebration. He still loves it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a girl that breaks your heart, but you keep going back to the well. Right. right, you don't give up women. Don't True. stop. You're right. Right. Go ahead. I, 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 First of all, on the show this morning, uh, there's a couple of things I want to say. Turn Could you it. write a new song, J.K.? I just want to see what would come out of him today. It wouldn't sound any different than those I two. I want to hear. I will write a love song to Rob. Okay, <laughs> that I'd like to hear. In all seriousness. Cold globes. Cold globes make you old? No. Make you young. Make you young. Cold globes make you young. <laughs> Those big globes. Cold globes. Very nice. Cold the Hooters. Good. Why don't you get to work on that? Yeah, yeah really. Right. Right. Now, don't limit yourself. You could write a new tune, too, if you I'm want hearing to that you had a few uh, things in your past that you did, too, Robin. A few I, things? When I was being a songwriter, what were you doing? She was a stripper. I was a nurse. Yeah. What are you talking about? Why don't you write a song nurse. about that? I think it's... She was a, 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 a prostitute for a, a Coke dealer. I thought she was Coke. Coke. Yeah, wait, you'll read her book. She's a stripper. Yeah. Yeah. There's, a whole, there's a whole wacky world going on. Yeah, but, but I'm a nut. I'm writing songs. Yeah. <laughs> what a jerk I am. I said to Jackie, how could you have not read Robin's book yet? I said, you always get into fights with her. Uh -huh. I said, you you're, have to You're going to be so well armed. Oh, I said, I don't understand. Any, I don't even understand how you haven't read it yet. Like having a how does he know that if he hasn't read it? Because he just hears guys telling me stuff. <laughs> really? That's in there? Well, I read like four sentences and I'm like, flabbergasted. <laughs> that was enough. <laughs>